If you want me to have one, I have one by now. We're gonna see which one did I get. This is what after work my Asia looks like. Um, today we're going to be doing something different. I'm going to keep procrastinating it. And I have stuff to do this weekend. So I won't be able to really do this video on the weekend. Because I'm going to be out of town. But I'm going to be going into this Dollar Tree in my town. And I'll be getting something to do for a series here on my YouTube channel. Maybe the edge is looking crazy too. But it's okay. Let's just go in the store and get what we need to get. And get out. Hey y'all, I'm home and this is several days later from when I bought this. Um, so now it's time for me to, I didn't really tell you, I, was, I said I was gonna explain it more when I got home. So here's what we're gonna do on this channel. I kinda got this idea, I haven't really seen anybody else do it. I know there's other people who do it, but I've only really seen one person who I like to watch and her name is Dominique Mai here on YouTube and she does she has her own little self-love dating series where she like picks these dating ideas and she goes on dates by herself you know solo dolo and I love that idea because right now I, mean, I feel like I'm in a season of isolation and I feel like number one it's time to prioritize me and my health and my well-being and also my relationship with God. I feel like, you know, what's the song on Color Purple? God is trying to tell you something. He's trying to tell you something. So, he's most definitely got my attention. So I want to start spending more time with myself. And I don't really feel like I'm in need of like, I don't want to say need because I need people, you know, as humans, we're, we need that social connection. So that's not really an issue for me. I just don't want to feel like I'm overdoing it. Like I always need somebody to be with me. I'm always in search of a boyfriend or some kind of companionship. Like I can't just do nothing by myself. So I want to start spending more time with me. And, you know, I looked up some benefits of doing it if you want to try it yourself. Um, you know, it boosts self-confidence, you know, self-efficiency. Ooh. Self-sufficiency. I don't even Self-sufficiency. I think that's what I, I think that's the word I'm going for. And, you know, for me, I'm doing it because I want to be okay with being by myself. Which I am now, but I want to be more okay with the fact that right now, you more than likely probably just don't even need a boyfriend because it got i'm sure it got i'm sure if you want me to have one i have one by now so it, it ain't even no need if he wanted me to have one i already know yeah yeah if you want me to have one i would have been in that one by now but right now it ain't my time ain't my time so like i said i'm in my season of just being like by myself but honestly, I'm not really a person who has like a boatload of friends. I don't really have a lot of friends. To me, I only have one person who is genuinely like, or two people who are like genuinely like my friend. One is like my best friend. I talk about her all the time, Kendra, yes. But yeah. Yeah, and those are really the only few people that I like converse with to like day to day or on a daily basis um yeah so yeah I'm doing this so I can be more comfortable being by myself now I'm okay with being by myself I'm not some person who just fiends for attention from other people or just being with other people because trust me i get uh, people be pissing me off sometimes and i just i just can't 
I just can't deal with it sometimes. So. Like literally, what's today? Today is Sunday. We literally left for Jacksonville Friday. Girl, I was ready to go home. Early this morning. It's ready to take my behind home. That was enough of social and social interaction for me. <laughs> being around people, cause I'm not used to being around like, especially in my home with children. And I'm just not used to, I'm used to being my, by myself in this space here. That's why the majority of my videos are here. Cause this is my comfort zone. This is my comfort space. So yeah, let me stop talking. Cause it's five minutes and went back. Let me stop talking. But I got my little box. It's so cute. It's like a little nail box. Look. I'm a little teed off because I'm sure there was like, you know how on the real box there's like the little lever, the little handle you pull up, like to let the mailman know you, you got some mail to send out. Somebody don't rip it off. Butthead, whoever that was, cause why would you do that? So mean. But I still bought it anyway because it was still cute and it was cuter than anything else they had in there. So here's what we're gonna do. We will be using these index cards and we're gonna be writing out with my lovely pins that i got from i believe five and below they're so cute they're like you know gel pins i love gel fine point is that what it's called felt tip pins yeah the little the little fine one real thin pins tip which is now that i know it's called the felt tip but yeah we're gonna write in different colors and I'll just read out a couple of the, um, I ain't gonna read them all. I want, I want some surprise, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna read a couple of them. I got, so basically I wanted to be different. I didn't want to just put just date ideas and just go on dates. I wanted to have date ideas plus journal prompts in order to write in my journal more. So I got, try to recreate a drawing or a painting mini photo shoot, um, bake something new, um, prepare your favorite meal. And I don't really have a, I don't really think I have a favorite. Um, we'll see when it, when it comes to that. And I got a couple of journal prompts. We'll read a few of those. What are five things I'm passionate about? Set some boundaries. Hmm. What are some goals you're working towards? Let's see what we got on the back. List three affirmations and sorry when I be writing fast, baby, this can't write and get a little crazy. And what do you love doing? Okay, so let's get to writing and we'll speed this up and then I'll, you know, do my little exit. All right, and I got some coffee, y'all. Where did I get this from? Walmart, the little Starbucks cold brew. But yeah, let me get to it. I didn't talk too much. Alright y'all, I am finished. Ooh, almost dropped it. But yeah, I'm done. And these are and in total there's 15. 15 journal prompts, 15 um what's the word? 15 date ideas. So yeah, there is very but I don't, there's more to come. I don't, do I want to pull one now? And that'll be the one I do for this week. Because today's Sunday. And to me, the week doesn't end till next Sunday. So. And I, that'll be a video idea for this week. Yeah, we'll pull one. Mm, let's see, y'all. And I'm not going to do it right now. But just know that's going to be the one for this week. Yeah, I want a good one. I lay it flat. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. There we go. Wait, don't even look. Don't even look. Don't look, Asia. The 
going to see which one did I get. <laughs> okay. What did I get? Probably like one of my favorite things to do. Sit on a swing. I like, I love swings as a kid. Just to swing. I didn't really like slides or just any other part of the playground but the swing. So sit on a swing. And what do you love doing? That'll be what's on the next episode. I'm sure it'll flip around. But sit on a swing. What do you love to do? So we'll do that on the next episode. And I love you guys. And I hope to see you in the next one. And also don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you and peace.